Number 19. A study of the amount of time it takes a mechanic to rebuild the transmission for a 2010 Chevrolet Colorado shows that the mean is 8.4 hours. That's going to be mu. That's our mean. So mu is 8.4. And the standard deviation is 1.8. That'll be sigma equals 1.8. If 40 mechanics are randomly selected, so n is equal to 40. n is always the sample size. Find the probability that their mean rebuild time is less than 8.9 hours. So we want the probability that the mean rebuild time of these mechanics, that's the sample mean. So we want the probability that the sample mean is less than 8.9 hours. So in this problem, we can use what's called the central limit theorem. So even though the problem says nothing about the population being normal, whenever n is bigger than 30, the probability distribution of x bar is approximately normal. So in StatCrunch, we can go to stat, calculators, I'll just put calc, normal. But before we do that, we have to compute the standard deviation of x bar. It's sigma over the square root of n. And this is the standard deviation that's going to go into StatCrunch. So sigma is 1.8. And n is the square root of 40. Or rather, n is 40, so we get 1.8 over the square root of 40. So if you put this in your calculator, you get approximately 0.2846. So this is going to be our new standard deviation, right? This is the standard deviation that we have to put into StackRunch. And the reason we're doing this is because the question is asking us about a probability regarding a sample mean, right? So StackCrunch will require that we enter the standard deviation of the variable we're talking about. So we're talking about the sample mean. So in StatCrunch, we have to enter the standard deviation of the sample mean. So we go to Stat, Calculators, and then you go to Normal. Then you left click on Normal. The mean in this problem is 8.4. Right? The mean does not change. The standard deviation does change, though. It's going to be 0.2846. And then it looks like it's less than well, we only have a less than or equal to option here. It turns out for the normal distribution, less than is the same as less than or equal to. That's because the probability of equality is zero. So less than or equal to 8.9, let's see, 8.4, 0.2846, super key, right? That's the whole point. We're changing the standard deviation because we have x bar. Less than or equal to 8.9, looks good. I'm going to hit compute, 0 0.9605. So this is equal to 0.9605. And that should be the answer. Let's check to see if it's one of the choices. Ah, and it is. So the answer is C. That's it.